Hello, my name is Jeff from Jeff's Pianist Academy and in this video we're going to talk about the arpeggio. Now arpeggio comes from the Latin or Italian word arpa, the harp. And when you play an arpeggio on the piano, you want to make sure that you keep the picture of a harpist in mind. Now how does a harpist play the harp? A harpist diligently plays each of the strings separately. Okay? And they have control over each of those strings and so you should have control over each of your notes on the piano when you play an arpeggio. Um, very important, keep that in mind, arpeggios are easily overlooked. They can add a lot of meaning uh, to the pieces and if you want to practice arpeggios a lot, look at Chopin's Etude number 11 from Opus 10, the E flat major one. It's full of arpeggios, you'll have fun with that. Until next time, play with passion.